Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's time, time to take up my 24th 5 star to rank 5. Now, who do you suppose it will be? I had two choices. If you've been following, you know what those two choices are, and we're going with Warlock. So, out of the crystals, just recently, I pulled a Silver Surfer, and in the last crystal opening, I pulled this guy here, Warlock. And the choice between the two, it's not really a choice other than who's going up first. So the reason that I decided to take Warlock up first is because of resources. Now, Silver Surfer is mainly going to be a prestige rank up, but I have heard from people that he is actually a pretty decent champion. I don't know enough about him to be able to say whether he is or not. We will be doing a closer look video on him once I get to that point. But with Warlock, he's fun and he's extremely useful. When he first came to the contest and I first went up against him in the event quest, if you guys were there watching that live stream, because I did it live, I laughed until I coughed. And I could not fight him properly because I was too busy laughing at the animations. Excellent. Loved his animations. And when he came to the arena, I could have gone for him. A lot of people didn't know how useful he was. They didn't know his utility. And he went relatively low. I could have actually picked him up, but I decided not to. And I regretted that big time. So... I loved when I pulled him from a crystal. I actually went for Warlock in the uh, uh, featured crystals and just could not get him. All right, so this Warlock here, right now, we took him to rank four. And you see that I'm going through uh, his you know, stats and his uh, uh, synergies. And his abilities here, but we're not going to go into it because we are going to have a video where we talk more about Warlock in depth. Okay. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, this here. Now, also, this video was done in two different parts because at first I was going to take him up to rank four, make a video on that, and then later take him up to rank five because I didn't have quite enough resources. But then I said, you know what? I want to take him up. So I was short one of these class catalysts. So I was prepared to open up a bunch, right? And then, boom, on the first one, I got tech, which was exactly what I needed. How awesome is that? Okay? You know, a lot of times when I open up these crystals, I don't get the one that I want for a while. I can open up 10, 15, 20, and never get the one that I want. But in this case, we got it on the first try. And that's why I spun it out, even though I quick tapped it, hoping for that, all right? And then you see there, I'm actually short uh, T1 alphas. However, we have the glory store, and AQ just ended, and we got our rewards all of our glory and everything uh, you can see that I actually have been buying up those t1 alphas and I sometimes get all of them but we're so close to the next uh, reset I just got enough to take warlock up to rank five so what is it about warlock that makes him rank five worthy again we are going to go into his abilities and everything in depth, but he has crazy good utility. Okay, so first of all, he's got all those immunities. If you watched and saw uh, when I was scrolling up his abilities, he's immune to a lot. Frostbite, cold snap, bleed, poison, very good, okay? He also has some uh, ability reduction. Now, for a time, he was actually bugged and was reducing abilities when he shouldn't have. But as part of his abilities, this is something he can do. Okay? And what that means is that he's going to make it more difficult for the opponent 
to trigger some of their abilities. Okay, uh, I like the fact that on contact, that means if they're hitting into your block, or you're hitting into their block, or they're hitting you, it triggers, it goes and gives them a um, infection. And again, more on that when we do the actual uh, closer look video. Uh, but his infection shuts down a lot of abilities, okay? So here you can actually get a chance to see a before and after. So you can compare rank 4 to rank 5 stats. You can see a little bit of the scaling. He's also extra large, and that's going to come into play in one of the fights that we decide to go into. So here we've got one fight. Now, this fight is in Realm of Legends, and it's up against Wolverine. And Wolverine has a crazy regen. If you do not come in here with someone that can handle that regen, you're not going to pass this fight. A lot of people went this far, um, I think it's like the third fight from the end, and realized that they didn't have a solution. But I want you to see that regen is not able to do much of anything. Okay? Now, I'm running suicides. He is suicide friendly because he has those immunities, okay? You can see he's poison and bleed immune, and he also gets a nice little armor up, so he's a little tanky as well, okay? But just look at what he's doing to this Wolverine. And I'm not having to play any differently than you normally would fight with him, you know? Um, but look at all that, that the regens there are just not doing much of anything for him, okay? Very, very easy. He's also quite good against the Omega Red mini boss in Alliance Quest. He will shut down healing. He has a passive heal block. So not only can he shut down healing, but he can shut down the healing on certain champions that you can't shut down their healing with others like Kang in Act 6 only I believe Warlock and Mysterio can stop that healing you know I could be wrong by now there might be other counters alright so that's the end of that fight you see how easy that fight went now for this last fight we're gonna go into variant one of the variants, Mystery in the Micro Realms, as you see you there. And we're going to fight Domino. Domino is the first fight on this particular path. And that's one of the reasons that I like to test out uh, Warlock against this Domino. Uh, also, Domino is a very annoying defender. And I want to show you guys just how easy Warlock makes this fight. So, first you see that I'm having to deal with a poison. Well, Warlock is poison immune, can ignore that. Then the globals, if you're not familiar with the globals for Mystery in the Micro Realms, basically, if you are small, medium, or large, you have a chance for certain of your attacks to be glanced, and you'll take damage back, okay? But Warlock is extra large, so there is no need to fight, you know, with only heavy attacks or uh, intercept with specials or anything like that, you can fight normally. Now, as a tech champion, not only does he have class advantage, but he can never be unlucky. Okay, so you don't have to worry about your evades, failing, or anything like that, okay? But there is still a chance for Domino to get lucky. But Warlock has an ability accuracy reduction. So I want you to notice throughout this fight how often she went lucky, how often she evaded, okay? Uh, and that is why Warlock, to me, is one of the best counters for Domino. And anytime I see Domino, I'm going to think about bringing in my Warlock, let me tell you. And the bleed immunity means that even if she were to get, you know, a, uh, an attack, she's not going to be able to get any crit bleeds or anything like that. All right, so Warlock destroys Domino. 
So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.